Well, it's kind of a weird week where it's like you got I think three days in between games and two game two days yeah. in between games. Um, does that change your preparation? I mean, how do you how do you use that week that's just irregular? It allows us to get in the gym and, and work a bit more, especially going up and down against each other on, on some of our concepts, some areas that we're. We know we're doing well in. We can we can touch on them and then some improvement areas for us. Yeah, when you look at these last two three weeks, I mean, I think you guys won eight of twelve. I mean, winning, but you know, you guys have played against some like Western Conference contenders. Like, when you look at those games against Denver, Clippers, the Suns, like, is that like kind of measuring stick games for y'all? Yeah, we we haven't performed well in against some of the better teams in the West, like you said. Um, at least the last, like you said, twelve games, Denver. Tough loss on their home floor, uh, the Clippers before that, and then Phoenix. And um, it's, it's an opportunity for us to learn, grow, come back, watch film, work on some of the concepts, and make sure that we're prepared for those those type of games and those moments. Is there any common denominator you see in those losses? Uh, it's a tendency for us that when teams make shots, um, you know, we can allow that to disrupt just our whole flow of a game. Like teams are going to make a few shots. Just continue to get the ball out of the bounds, get down the floor and execute. And then when teams, uh, when they're physical against us and defensively, when they got the hands on us, they're physical, they're top locking, um, sometimes that stagnates us a bit. And just talking to our guys today, that's when we have to trust more. More cutting, more screening, and getting to your spots, re rebounding the ball, getting out playing. And you know, when we do it, we're in, we're in better shape. Willie, overall the numbers look good, both defensively and offensively. But for some reason, it seems like the defense in the second half, when you look closely, it really slips from what you see in the first half. Do you have any explanation for that? I don't. We, we got to come out of halftime, come out of, out of the locker room with the same intentions that we had in the first half. It's, it's something that we're aware of. Like you said, we, we have all the numbers. We talk to our team about it. And the best thing we can do is get on the floor and work on them. And, and even that includes the starting lineup, right? They come out, it seems like they have a really good impact in the first quarter, but then it kind of just tails off. And even in the fourth quarter, it doesn't write itself. Do you think that's maybe kind of a systemic issue or is it just being lax? Can, can you point to maybe why that cohesion and that chemistry just isn't out there where it performs, or you guys perform well? I think we're, we're all still trying to figure it out. And the, and the biggest thing for us, when I, when I say figure it out, is figure out we're having good first halves, not as much in the second half. And um, those are things that we're looking at, looking at the numbers, how can we be, be better, talking about it, watching film on it, working on it, but it's the consistency. And to be a top tier team in this league, you have to be consistent and that's an improvement area for us. We know it and, and you know everything is on the table in terms of the possibilities moving forward with that. Talked a little bit about the, after the Phoenix game, about uh, the need for the Stars to just be better defensively as a unit. Um, what, what area specifically can, can those five that improve on the defensive end? Every area. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not guarding uh, the first five minutes of the game. They, they know it. I've told them. I've talked to them about it. We can score. That unit has shown the ability to score, but we, we have to do a better job defensively. So, you know, it, it's something that we just got to continue to work on. We even have to be open to mixing up some of some of the, the starting lineup, the matchups, and what have you, and and see what we get. But we have enough data on it now to know that it's an issue, and, and we're working on it. Do you feel like this week is like you know you could try some different things or anything like that? At any given time, for sure. At any given time. But right now, we want to give them a chance to correct it. But we're we're at the point where everything's on the table. Have these practices given you a chance, Willie, really, to work with the guys a little bit more than you usually would be able to? It has. Having three days in between, having another game, and then two days, it, get, it really gives us a time, chance and time to watch film, talk about it, have a day of rest, have two practice days where we can work on some of our concepts. And talking about the numbers, obviously being a top 12 offensive team and being able to share the ball as well as you, as you have, um, how much is that, I guess, emphasized, especially when you talk about that Suns game where they got a little bit more physical and maybe it wasn't the same habit of sharing the ball? That's the growth. That's the growth for our team. You know, like you said, we, we know we have the capability of doing it. It's, can we be consistent enough, even against the top tier teams, to manage a team making tough shots on us, manage when teams are physical and we still execute on both ends of the floor, and, and the biggest thing is continue to trust each other. 
And um, our guys have shown the ability to do it. There's a lot of positives going on with this team as far as offensively and defensively. But those are areas we're looking at because we want to be really good against the best teams as well. I'm just curious, how do you manage the pace? That game, uh, whatever day it was, the Suns, they, the pace was crazy in that first quarter. How do you like manage this? Hey, we might need, we might need to calm down. I think you're playing in Booker's, you know, Booker's hands at that point. Do you just kind of like, how do you manage that and say, man, let's, let's slow the pace down? We're try to try to minimize his, his possessions. I, I don't think slowing it down would have done anything. He 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 was at the point where he had it going. That's on us, though. A part of a big part of it is him. He's talented, uh, and then some of it was us just not coming out with the physicality that we needed to to start the game, not executing our game plan at a high level and with force. It's one thing to just do it, but we can't go through the motions. I, th I thought for a bit we were guarding them, we were blitzing them, but they didn't feel us to start the game. And once he, once a good player like that get it going, it's hard to shut that water off. Uh, so those are the things that we talked about, and we want to continue to get up and down because we want teams to have to catch us too. Uh, but we didn't do a good job of managing when they did make tough shots. Okay, let's continue to come down and execute on both ends. The Jazz are a team that you've seen a couple times, but they're playing really good they basketball are. right now. What have you seen from them that's maybe made a difference? For them? Like you said, they they put strung together wins. Uh, they've gotten back into sort of the postseason race by being close to 500. Lost a tough one last night, but they've been playing well. They're sharing the ball. They're shooting threes. Um, they're healthy. They got all the guys playing on the floor and. Uh, They've presented some tough matchups for us. We lost two games at their, you know, at their place, and now we got an opportunity for them to come here and, and, and get one on our home floor. And how much does like with this week and the rest? How much does that help before you go on the road for like eight of the next nine uh, after those two? Hundred? It's helpful for sure. I mean, we spent 10, 11 days on the road, come back and play Charlotte, Phoenix. So we needed some time at home, some time to practice, some time to to watch some film and, and, and continue to work and. Uh, and we look forward to it paying off against Utah.